Alright YouTubers, I hope you're starting to realize just how important exponents are when you are sharing videos, among other things that you might be sharing out on the internet. So let's keep it rolling with talking a little bit more specifics about exponents. So have your packet out, ready to go, pencil, and starting to copy down some of this information. You do not need to copy down this top part, but I just thought it was good for you to know. He touched on this in the video, but a number that is formed by repeated multiplication of the same factors, of the same number. That's called a power, but we use the terms exponent and base in order to write a power. So in your notes, go ahead and set up this first part. So there are three different forms that we use when we are talking about exponents. They can be written three different ways. One way is exponential form, kind of makes sense, with an exponent. And so we've got five to the third power. So this is a power. That little three is the exponent. So go ahead and fill this in so that you know which part is which on your notes. And the 5 is the base. So that base is the actual number that you are repeatedly multiplying. So when we talk about powers up here, repeated multiplication, the base is the number you're repeatedly multiplying. The exponent tells you how many times are you repeatedly multiplying that number. So we got the base of 5, the exponent of 3. So I'm multiplying 5 by by itself three times, which we can easily see in the next form, which is expanded form. So if I was going to write 5 to the third in expanded form, I would show it like this. Now remember those dots just mean multiplication. You can use the dot or you can use the x sign, but I want you to start maybe using that dot because later we're going to use x for a different purpose. So if I'm writing in expanded form, so exponential form is with the base and the exponent. Expanded form is showing, well, what is this actually meaning? It means 5 times 5 times 5. So I'm repeatedly multiplying the base, which is 5, and I'm doing it three times. Now, standard form is like the actual answer we get. This is also called a value. So if I actually do 5 times 5, which is 25, and then times 5 again, I get 125. So it's like my answer. Standard form is the value of the um, exponent. And so that's like my answer. So I get 125. So those are the three forms you'll see. Exponential form, expanded form, standard form. And so you could write an exponent in any of these ways. Um, so this is kind of the shorthand. This is like if I was actually doing the problem, and then this would be my answer. So you have a quick check to go um, do that shouldn't take you too long. Make sure you get it signed, and then move right along to 1B. Good luck.